And I've on to business news. Nigerians and indeed Africans have been encouraged to harness and promote tailor-made solutions to cater to indigenous demands. This advice was given on the sidelines of a graduation ceremony for Nigerians who underwent training on semiconductor design by Chip Lab. Justin Akadene tells us more. The semiconductor technology stands as a cornerstone for modern economies, and as such, investing in this domain could unlock substantial foreign exchange earnings through localized processing of raw materials and export of semiconductor products. Ola Fadinro and Yen Choi are two visionaries who have pledged to redefine the landscape of technology in Africa, and by extension, the world. With the cheap lab cohorts, they have trained young Nigerians on chip design. On the sidelines of the graduation, they speak more about their drive. So um, what we're doing is essentially bringing Nigeria and Africa to the table to build the AI uh, custom chips. And so it could be used to solve, we could create our own uh, Nigerian chat GPT, for example, or different kind of applications. But there's also a huge amount of software developers who are having a hard time making a living. So in the chip development world, there's a huge global shortage of qualified skill. And, and the earning potential for that is massive. For example, our graduates, uh, we're targeting that they'll be making 10x, 10 times what a normal start graduate salary would be. And that's life changing. Chairman of the Nigerian Industrial Commission, Abike Dabir Erewa, is here to show the federal government's support. She gives insight on the enormous potentials Nigerians, both home and abroad, possess, as well as what this feat means for the country. Nigeria will be exporting microchips to other parts of Africa. So we, we should support and encourage young Nigerians like this that are talented and they're all over the world. So that's why we're here. And um, I believe in him. I believe in the young generation of Nigerians, both at home and in the diaspora. What we need to do is encourage them. No doubt, this venture has the potential to stimulate job creation, elevate local content development for the international community, and also bolster a more resilient economic environment. They're looking to keep that talent here in Nigeria. That's kind of the intent behind the idea. And so I think by keeping uh, the talent here in Nigeria um, will allow for any number of issues to to be uh, looked at, considered, and ideally solved. Uh, we want Africa to be the forefront in building chips in this part of the world, and we want Nigeria to be the country leading that thing, leading it. So that's the reason why we decided, OK, let's start something that has to do with chip design. And also, we want women, at least 60% of women, to be part of this movement. Because if you know very well, uh, women pay um, more attention to details because designing chips involves details. In all, the idea is providing a solution to the global skills shortage as graduates of the academy would work with top microchips and semiconductor industries in the world. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.